If, in fact, uh, IRS personnel engaged in uh, the kind of practices that have been reported on uh, and were intentionally targeting uh, conservative groups, then that's outrageous. This recent case of the Internal Revenue Service checking up on various Tea Party and, quote, patriotic groups is more a matter of government stupidity than utter venality. In the past, we had presidents like Franklin Roosevelt and Richard Nixon who would direct the IRS to check into the tax returns of their enemies. What happened in this case was some mid-level workers started checking to see whether these groups, which are licensed to conduct policy advocacy, to go to Congress and lobby for or against abortion or whatever issue, whether they had lapsed into clear-cut political advocacy of candidates, which is taxable. There's a smudgy line between advocating for a, a policy and supporting a political candidate in the midst of the campaign. This was an incredibly clumsy attempt on the part of these IRS employees to short circuit that process by checking up on the hottest advocacy groups of the moment, which happened to be Tea Party groups in 2010. This is what happens in other countries when government agencies target and harass particular groups based on their ideology. The Republicans are going to be looking to see how far up the food chain this went. They're especially going to concentrate on why the IRS director who knew of this problem in 2011 didn't make it public and whether or not the White House was involved in that cover-up. It's going to be taking up an awful lot of public time and space when the politicians in Washington really should be coming to a budget deal and really should be dealing with the larger issues that are facing our society, like the collapse of the middle class.